Welcome to Millam School's virtual presentation. My name is Mrs Drage and I'm the Director of Learning and Standards for Key Stage 3. My job involves coordinating the transition of students from Year 6 into Year 7 and this means that I work closely with all our feeder primaries and the students and their families. My time over the course of the year is spent making links with primaries and enabling Year 6 to make the smoothest, best supportive transition they can into the secondary setting. It is arguably the biggest educational transition they'll make and it is essential that we get it right, both for us and for them. The transitional year starts in September when we go to the primaries to visit the students and take in prospectuses. We speak with both year five and year six in order to help them build a picture of what secondary school is like. It's vital that we take the time to discuss things with year fives because we know from experience that they're already beginning to think about the move and they need support with that. During the year, we invite both year fives and sixes onto site for various events, including things like Lego competitions and STEM events, like the Little Big Bang. During the course of the summer term, I visit the year six and begin the journey of getting to know them as individuals. This is the most important part of the process for me, as it gives staff in our school an opportunity to best support the students from day one on site. I meet them as a group and make presentations to them about transition, hold a question and answer session, meet with them one-to-one -one so that they can share their hopes and their expectations and I can answer any further questions they might have and deal with any nerves. I also meet with the teachers and or the head in charge of special educational needs and discuss each individual with a year six teacher and that helps us to build a great profile of how best to support the groups and the students as the individuals that they are. In July, we hold two transition days. One is based around team building, bonding, and helping students get used to the size and the scale of a secondary school site, and that's for year five. The second day for year sixes is primarily aimed at replicating the school day that they'll have in September, so that it's not a shock. We treat them as year seven for the day. They go to timetabled lessons. They have lunch in the refectory. They take a tour of the school, and they have a question and answer session with the tutor that they'll have in September. We try to get them to meet as many different staff as possible during their visits and their days with us so that they're familiar and comfortable. Students who require specific support are part of our enhanced transition programme, which is organised by our SENCO, Mrs Morton. Students are invited onto site for smaller periods of time, but more often so that we can introduce them gently to school life. They'll also be given a key worker, which is one of our teaching assistants. That means they have a go-to person for their transition and this definitely helps them feel more settled quicker. The school is set up with directors of learning and standards who oversee each of the key stages. My job day to day alongside teaching GCSE and A-level media and PE is to oversee the progress made by students during year seven, eight and nine. I am responsible for maintaining the high standards, both of achievement, attainment and personal appearance. I very much want to hand them over to Key Stage 4 in the best possible shape to meet the demands of the exam courses and then either stay on in our sixth form or go out into the world of work and apprenticeships. I work closely with my team of tutors who are like school mum and dad. They are the day-to-day -day point of contact for the students and families and they take great care of them. If there are things that you wish the school to know about your child, that's where we start. And we are always at the end of a phone or an email or a face-to-face -face meeting should you require that. We all work alongside the direction of the assistant head for student support, Mr Eaton. We have very high expectations both of and for the students. We very much want them to immerse themselves in the Millam learner's journey and take full advantage of any opportunities that come their way from support and guidance in their lessons, taking part in extracurricular sessions, such as music or sport or drama or IT or our very successful STEM schemes to becoming involved in school trips such as the ski trip or even camps international charity trips to places like Ecuador and Borneo. School is very much what you make it and the opportunities are there to make it more than just going to lessons every day. In year seven, we traditionally run a week long outward bound trip for the year group to attend. We encourage all the students to go it's about building a bond as a year group, facilitating friendships that will inevitably develop and change from primary and making their relationships with staff stronger. 
It's also about creating memories that will make their school day something they look back on with pride. There's much to be joyful of as a Millennium School student. They leave us as well-rounded, creative, talented individuals with a drive to succeed that we are very proud of. We hope that you will choose Millennium School and we look forward to working with you and your children from September. Hi, I'm Mrs Martin and I have the pleasure of being the same call here at Millennium School. I'm the person that you need to make contact with if your child has an additional need in terms of learning or a medical need. I support child's learning and their families uh, throughout their time at Millennium School and I'm happy to help in any way that I possibly can. I'm responsible for TAs who have a whole host of skills and abilities. Uh, we support students in terms of dyslexia, autism, visual impairment, uh, learning, literacy, numeracy, and we also support in terms of physical medical needs as well. It's my job to make sure that there is good home school contact and there is the support available where it's needed. In terms of transition, I'm very involved in transition and make sure that I um, attend meetings in primary settings from as early as year four and five and into year six. I meet with students, I meet with families and I meet with teachers to gain as much information as I can so that your child is best supported when they arrive with us in year seven. So if your child has an additional need for whatever reason, please feel free to make contact with me via email or via phone at the school reception and I'll do everything I can to make sure that your child and your family is best supported when they attend Millennium School. And I will look forward to working with you in the future.